If you've been on the internet at all the past year, you've seen the memes, the jokes, the awards, and heard about the amount of sex and nudity in HBO's hit show, Euphoria. It's positioned itself as a realistic, gritty look at modern teenage life that includes themes of drugs, sex, and relationships. And while there is a lot of female nudity, the show tries very hard to feature a good amount of screen time on male nudity, kind of balancing things out. I've also read that the sex scenes lead the show and audience to meditate on topics of consent, pedophilia, and abuse. And all that sounds like the type of groundbreaking TV that HBO has built their name on, that brings in 16 million viewers per episode. But it wasn't until I came across the article, The Euphoria Problem, by Jessica Valenti, that I realized why I had always felt uncomfortable pressing play on the show. I am not gonna watch Euphoria, because it's a television show that sexualizes teenagers for the purposes of entertainment. And there's something in me that makes witnessing that type of content feel, frankly, predatory. And I understand that sex is why a lot of HBO shows are so popular. They're edgy, they're well-made, and it's fun to watch naked, attractive people explore sexuality. I have watched and enjoyed a lot of HBO shows, but Euphoria is different. Euphoria places the adult viewer squarely in the place of accepting the fact that they are enjoying a fantasy of hot teens having sex. I know that many good people watch the show, people who don't personally find teenagers attractive. I'm not here to shame those who watch the show. I just want us all to have an awareness of the real world effects of depicting teenagers as sexually alluring, fully developed women. I know what some of you are wondering, you know, but if the actors aren't actually teenagers depicting graphic sex, why is it a problem? Well, that's where we have to examine one of the biggest issues right now as people consuming media in 2022, AKA you at this very moment. And that issue is cultivation theory. The central hypothesis of cultivation theory is that people who spend more time watching television are more likely to perceive the real world in the ways most commonly depicted on TV. Findings from nearly four decades of cultivation research on TV have unveiled a distorted reality that people can live in, an overrepresentation of violence, gender role stereotyping, and a view that younger people are the common standard of beauty. It's been proven since research in the 1970s that the shows we watch can change our IQ, our beliefs, and our views of the world around us. Once we're adults, I do feel like a lot of us think we're fairly infallible or unchanged by what we watch. But that's not true. And routine sexualization of teenagers, either showing them as more adult or conveying them as the most enticing option as a sexual partner, well, that changes the way we look at our own preferences and attraction. My concern with Euphoria is around the popularization of showing teens as the sexual ideal for older men. I mean, porn already skews all of our mind towards barely legal and taboo sex being the epitome of hot, with teen being one of the most consistently popular porn search terms. So my gripe is less about the reality of the show and more about the watching teens have sex equals hot element for the male psyche of the audience. Shows like Euphoria are such a mindfuck for men. Porn has us fantasizing about teenagers and then our relationship with sexual attraction can stay zeroed in on that age and really messes with the societal dynamics of dating and courtship as we move on in life. Not to mention that all of this can normalize the practice of grooming that we've seen lead to many stories of sexual abuse the past several years. Edgy teen shows can still be made. Degrassi, everything's gonna be okay. These examples work because they feature accurately aged actors doing drugs, having sex, and navigating drama, all while looking like actual teens. Jessica Valenti points out in her piece that Euphoria's creator Sam Levinson says, I think we're authentic to the experience of being young. We wanted to make it feel like it feels. But his show actually does the opposite. How do you feel when you think about watching this woman have sex? Or this one? Now, how do you feel about watching this girl have sex? or that one. It's not authentic. It's gross. It blurs the lines of consent. And I'm aware that I might be ruining one of your favorite TV shows right now, but it's important to talk about these things. 
Look, I wasn't always aware of this, and there was a good period of my life where I didn't see the effects of the media I ingested and supported. It took people who I cared about and people who made thoughtful explanations online and in podcasts to have me check in with my own understanding of objectification and the sexualization of young girls. And so today, I'm not here to be the TV police. I'm just saying it might be helpful to check in with yourself when you watch TV or any content. Be aware of the stories you're being entertained by, the ideas you're being sold, and how it can affect you or the lives of people you care about. If you happen to care about finding a better model for masculinity or analyzing how media shapes our inner and outer worlds, subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of my upcoming stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely read that Jessica Valenti piece. There's a link in the description below. I'm Brad Gage. And this is Real Feels.